Hello everyone. So today we will talk about the SimCat 8 analysis. SimCat 8 analysis. So let's start. As usual, we will try, uh, we will first start with VRC, then DLR and then quant. So VRC uh, pattern is same for passages and the rest of the thing are VA. Uh, after two passages, you will encounter the VA and then the fourth passage will be there. Okay. So the pattern so far is like this. Now, if I talk about the uh, level of the passages and uh, what should be the optimize, uh, optimum marks, I'll start with type of passages. One passage was on eco and low, on the eco and low. The other passage was on the uh, mosquito and fish and uh, the robot, mosquito plus robot. And there were two other passages too. I couldn't remember the uh, theme of the passage. One is the Ecolo. There was one from the social science, I guess. Okay, don't remember this. Uh, so, but overall scenario, overall scenario is that uh, the questions were trickier, uh, but not as trickier as the previous SimCats, but it was definitely uh, trickier. And, uh, it was trickier. Plus, uh, again, as we discussed that yesterday, you need, you require a holistic, uh, understanding of the passage uh, rather than a para to para understanding uh, this should be must and most of the questions should be answered uh, from this point of view again there were some questions in the simcats which require some uh, extra inference uh, the, uh, the some things which is not mentioned in the passage not mentioned in the passage but the simcat people uh, request to try you that ki aap, uh, aapko kuch additional knowledge hai, additional ek, uh, correct inference aap se describe kar pao, na, se infer kar pao. Hai? VA I found on somewhat tougher side, somewhat tougher or confusing side. Hai na? It was confusing and on the little higher side also. But RCs as compared to the previous SimCats were not very difficult. So uh, if I talk about the marks or the strategy, uh, these two RCs were doable, but this was a hard nut to understand. And uh, there was one RC which, which required the tool. I remember, uh, hard, hand bola, hard nut. So there was nut, hai na? nut ka descript, uh, ek, uh, description, a description tool in which Homo sapien ke hands ke baare mein discuss kiya hua tha na? hand. So this question was trickier. This question was trickier. Thi. Thik hai? Question of uh, eco wala jo ye wala passage tha, ye wala passage tha, ye aapko easy to read hai, but questions trickier tha. Lekin pad to lena chahiye tha. This was also doable and this was to an extent uh, uh, moderate to read and moderate uh, uh, questions was there. Thik hai? There was one more passage. So all the four passages plus VA was uh, not an easy thing to handle if you are aiming for the four passages, but uh, overall VRC was good this time, not uh, much bad or not much uh, uh, variations as compared to other series or cat. And, uh, so a good marks, a good marks here would be, good marks here would be anything above 22. So 22 plus would be a good marks here. So now I come to the DLR. If I come to the DLR, uh, there were two passages of six questions each as usual and four four question each there are two uh, sets not passages so one was uh, basic uh, based on the number system uh, that uh, average and something like that hai na kuch average and uske uski baat ho thi, numbers ki baat ho thi, and ek matrix tha hai na uh, there was uh, one six marker set which i uh, couldn't remember right now uh, wo bhi kuch aisa hi set tha thoda lengthy bhi tha lengthy to read then there was some uh, three into three matrix thi, and you have to arrange uh, 12 people here uh, with different schools and different things. Uske baad ek DI ka set tha, jahan pe kuch uh, suburbs ka area de, suburbs bol rakhe te, aur kuch wo alag data diya hua tha, hai na? 
तो दिस सेट वॉज अ हार्ड सेट आई कूडेंट रिमेंबर द डिफिकल्टी ऑफ दिस सेट आई डिडेंट ट्राई दिस वन ये वाला सेट मॉडरेट था नोट एन इजी वन ये सेट में एक्चुअली ये सेट में जो अभी मैं सेट की बात कर रहा हूँ दिस सेट इसमें मुझे थोड़ा डिफिकल्टी लगी डिफिकल्टी इन देंस कि ये सेट में ये सेट में मुझे प्रॉब्लम ये आई कि उन्होंने बोला था कि वो जो भी है वो ट्रू है ना वो जो भी है ट्रू है उन्होंने ये बोला था शायद है ना उन्होंने बोला था एवरी थिंग वॉज ट्रू बट यहाँ पे क्या दिक्कत आई यहाँ पे क्या दिक्कत आई आफ्टर मेकिंग द टेबल यू आर गेटिंग द डेफिनेट वैल्यूज यू आर गेटिंग द डेफिनेट वैल्यूज है ना डेफिनेट वैल्यूज ठीक है बट द क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्किंग सम मैक्सिमम वैल्यू मिनिमम वैल्यू वैल्यूज विच कांट बी पॉसिबल तो ये सब यहाँ पे हो रहा था मे बी वी वर रॉन्ग मैंने पांच छह बंदों से डिस्कस किया है उनका सबका सेम रिव्यू था बट वी विल सी ऑन द एनालिसिस साइड बट वन थिंग टू रिमेंबर कभी कभी थोड़ा थोड़ा सेट या क्वेश्चन गलत आ जाता है सिमकेट में तो अगर आपको ऐसा प्रॉब्लम फेस कर रहा है तो वहां पे अटकना नहीं है जस्ट ट्राई टू लीव दो सेट्स है ना ओवरऑल दिस वॉज अ नॉट एन इजी सेक्शन इन दिस सिमकेट बट या इट वॉज ऑन द सिमिलर लाइन्स एज ऑफ कैट तो यहाँ पे एनी थिंग बियॉन्ड ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी थ्री जो थोड़ा ज्यादा हो जाएगा ट्वेंटी प्लस मार्क्स आई वुड से इज अ बेयर मिनिमम यू कैन डू है ना नाउ वी विल कम टू द क्वांट इफ वी कम टू द क्वांट सो एज फार एज द क्वांट इज कंसर्न एज फार एज द क्वांट इज कंसर्न आई वुड से दिस वॉज अ on the trickier side for those students who don't like to see the new type of questions because there were very uh, i mean almost every question is of something different of the new type hai na so it could be trickier for uh, someone who was expecting uh, this to be a little on the easier side or on the sides based on the conventional or traditional formulas and methods everything was new as uh, for example the question of solution 1 solution 2 beaker a beaker b that was that seemed lengthy but it was not then there was train question then there was question based on the uh, x square plus, uh, plus y square product 121 aur uske baad ek question tha jisme uh, 4 by 9 de rakha tha 16 by 1 de rakha tha square hai na so there were some uh, many questions uh, one tsd question was of uh, direct formula theek hai so beyond that there were uh, almost every question was you have to do something new you have to do ऑन योर ओन है ना डू ऑन योर ओन वाला था ऐसा कुछ एडवांटेज नहीं था जिसने ज्यादा भी पढ़ा है बट हाँ जिसने प्रैक्टिस करी है उसको एक एडवांटेज था सो इन द क्वांट सेक्शन आई वुड से थर्टी मार्क्स इज द बेयर मिनिमम बेयर मिनिमम यू शुड स्कोर तो थर्टी ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी एंड सेवेंटी टू मार्क्स सेवेंटी टू मार्क्स इन दिस सिमकेट सेवेंटी टू प्लस मार्क्स इन द दिस सिमकेट इज विच यू शुड एनी हाउ फोकस ऑन स्कोरिंग यू शुड एनी हाउ फोकस ऑन स्कोरिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीच ए वेरी गुड परसेंटाइज ठीक है तो After all, there is nothing much to discuss. And overall scenario, if I talk about the uh, one overall scenario, overall it was a good mock. Overall it was a good mock. VARC was on the moderate side. DILR was on the tough side. But if you handled this DILR, that means you are doing exceptionally good. And QA was on also on the moderate to tough side. Not an easy for sure. ठीक है so this is my review and overall this mock was moderate mock hai na moderate mock this was not very tough so i am expecting uh, everyone to be 72 plus at least here and we will see the cut offs tomorrow theek hai this was the uh, this is the analysis which i do on my own without hearing someone's review this is my personal uh, experience after talking to the different aspirants and before the cut offs uh, come एक थोड़ा हम अंदाजा लगाते हैं कि हाउ वी हैव परफॉर्म बिफोर द एनालिसिस कम्स एंड हाउ वी शुड सी दिस सो थैंक यू एंड हैव ए वेरी हैप्पी डे कीप लर्निंग एंड हैप्पी टीचर्स डे टू एवरीवन